Good evening. We're getting our first look tonight at how Milwaukee reeled in the 2020 Democratic National Convention. Sean Gallagher details the more than 90 page proposal that made Brew City the best in class. On a beautiful day like this, it's easy to see why anyone would want to visit Milwaukee, but the DNC needed a little bit more than the eyeball test, and this 92 page RFP helped sway them in the direction to pick Brew City. Obviously, downtown's crown jewel was a big factor in landing the DNC. Pfizer Forum is a beautiful example of what a brand new facility can do for a city. But it wasn't the only thing the city touted in its proposal. There's no question that Milwaukee definitely wowed them. Over the four days of the DNC, there will be more than 1,500 parties, galas, and other activities. And Milwaukee's character, both old and new, will be on full display. Milwaukee has embraced both new architecture and our old architecture too, which makes the city such a wonderfully random mix of architecture. All of the locations the city touted in its proposal are near the focal point of Fiserv Forum, including other big venues like Miller Park and the Art Museum. But the uniqueness of places like the Pritzloff Building and Turner Hall make Milwaukee one of a kind. Some of these old buildings, you just, the architecture isn't like this anymore. They don't build them like this. Corey Kaufman with Pritzloff Events says their space embodies Milwaukee's character part of what the DNC fell in love with. Milwaukee's got a lot of big old industrial buildings and they've really done a beautiful job rehabbing them. Uh, the Pritzloff just happens to be one of those. And with all of these events going on, they still need more volunteers. Right now they have over 4,000, but that's only about a third of the way there. If you're interested in volunteering in any of the events for the DNC, we'll have more information on TMJ4.com. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.